Ignacio de Leola is written and directed by Paolo D and stars Andreas Munoz and this is of course a biopic about Ignatius of Loyola who was once a noble knight named Inigo Lopez de Loyola but got his leg broken and underwent an intense conversion into a holy man who eventually founded the Society of Jesus or the Jesuit Order. Now I was very excited about watching this movie because I had heard about Ignatius' story all the way from grade school to college uh, and some people involved with this movie were somehow affiliated with my university so I really wanted them to do well. But even if you're not familiar with St. Ignatius' story, I think this movie is still notable in terms of our cinema in the Philippines because this is a locally produced English language film that stars pretty much all Spanish actors and that is a big deal. That's really, really an interesting step. But I did promise myself that I would be honest about every single movie that I review and it's gonna be no different here because I will be honest and say that I personally, personally didn't really like this movie. I think it suffers uh, from really slow pacing and a clear lack of budget, but the story it tells is undeniably very interesting. Now the biggest issues with this movie lie on the technical side, like most local films and most uh, modern religious films, uh, for one, the editing. The editing, in my opinion, seems to be kind of subservient to the story it's telling, in the sense that I don't feel like the editing is trying to help the story get told. It's trying to stay out of the way uh, of the story because you know a lot of these scenes just will not cut away even after they've overstayed their welcome and as uh, scenes move from one to another the transitions and the cutting isn't very it's kind of abrupt uh, it's kind of awkward sometimes and as a result the movie as a whole feels very long and draggy. Paolo D's direction as well I felt was too subservient to the story in that it was too reverent. It's it's like they, they were trying not to do anything too creative throughout the movie in fear that the message would get lost. So as a result a lot of the scenes here feel very stagey and they feel very static in their blocking. The tone also shifts like crazy from one scene to another especially in the early parts when there's elements of romance and elements of action and as a result, there is no, for me at least, no cumulative effect of watching this movie. It's just a bunch of individual scenes that don't always feed into each other emotionally. The sound mix is also inconsistent, although that's a problem that most local films face uh, even today. Um, Ryan Kayabiab did the score for this movie and while objectively it is good, I just felt the way that it was used was it was too intrusive. You know, I was really yearning for more moments of silence where to just be Ignatius and his struggles and that would carry the scene but the, the music was so insistent on being there. And when you've got a low budget for a movie like this, it's really the visuals that take the biggest hit. Uh, the production design in this movie kind of had to be lavish for the story it was telling but the budget just wasn't there for that so the production design's uh, bareness really kind of made the story feel a lot smaller than it was trying to be. And many of the actors in this cast were clearly struggling to speak English because it wasn't their first language um, and I kind of wish that they just went with all Spanish uh, in terms of language and just have subtitles. I understand why they couldn't do that. Um, some of the dubbing is kind of off uh, and kind of obvious, but even then, a lot of the actors just couldn't seem to connect emotionally, especially the little boy who plays Jesus just wasn't very good. The dialogue is exposition heavy, which doesn't really help us get emotionally invested, uh, and most of the characters are pretty much plot devices, and Ignatius himself, the way he's portrayed in this movie, uh, he's done in very broad strokes. You don't really get a sense of him as a fully formed character in my opinion. However, don't get me wrong, there are things that I genuinely did like about this movie. First of all, this might seem like not such a big deal to some people, but I take all these elements of filmmaking um, pretty equally, but the makeup and the costume design here was pretty impressively uh, believable. You know, where the production design kind of failed, the makeup and the, uh, and the costume design really helped me believe I was in this era. And I was really impressed to see that Andreas Munoz really held his own uh, all throughout the movie, even when uh, scenes had different tones to them, you could still get the impression that he was playing the same character. You know, he it felt like he was really inhabiting this guy and he understood where he was coming from and he communicated it well to the audience. But this movie's biggest strength really is in its source material. The story here really is just fascinating and I, I had heard about this story all throughout my life but there were parts of this, uh, of this movie that I had never known about, uh, especially uh, the part near the end where uh, Ignatius is put on trial, and I thought that was super interesting. For me, that was the best part of the movie because that's where the conflict started coming in, because there was a curious lack of conflict throughout the rest of the movie, and the way they portray um, Ignatius' inner turmoil is done really, really creatively, and I wanted to see more of that 
uh, throughout the film, but they, I feel like they played it a bit too safe. So in the end, again, personally speaking, I didn't really like Ignacio de Loyola coming from uh, an objective point of view in terms of like filmmaking. Um, but if you did like this movie, and I, I'm hearing a ton of people saying that they really like it and they love it, um, great, that's really, really good. And I still think that, you know, whether or not I liked it or not, I still think this movie is absolutely worth checking out because it's different. And I think that with more money, Jesscom and the people behind this movie could really go on to do great things. Like, they just really felt tied down by scheduling and budget. Um, but in the mistakes that they made in this movie weren't because of like really misguided creative choices. It was because I feel like they needed more time and they needed more money. So I think this movie does deserve support. You know, you might not like it, I can't promise that, but it's definitely something new. All right, so those are my thoughts on Ignacio de Loyola. Have you guys seen it? What do you think about it? Whether you agree with me or not, please leave me a comment. Let's have a conversation.